Jannatul Quran Islamic Studies Textbook Part 2 I am a Muslim Prepared by Shaykh Dina Asam Al Juzul Khamis How to perform Salah Two Rakaz Make Niyya Intention to perform Salah Stand upright Facing the direction of Al Qibla Keep your eyes focused on the prayer mat. Prayer mat. Raise your hands to your ears and say, Allahu Akbar. This means Allah is the greatest. Place your right hand on top of your left hand on the chest and look downwards to the place where your forehead will touch the ground in the sujood prostration. Recite the Istiftah Dua. Recite Surah Al-Fatiha. This Surah is recited in each Raqqa. Recite any other Surah or any part of the Quran. This Surah is recited in first two Raqqas. Bend down saying Allahu Akbar and place your hands on your knees and say silently this means how perfect is my lord the supreme three times this position is called ruku'a stand up from the bowen position saying allah hears those who praise him allah hears those who praise him this means our lord praise be to you Say Allahu Akbar and prostrate. Place your head, knees and hands on the floor. This position is called sajda. Say, this means glorious is my Lord, the Most High, three times. Rise from sujood and sit on your knees, saying Allahu Akbar. Place your hands flat on your knees. Recite. This means, O oh my Lord, forgive me. Say Allahu Akbar and again prostrate in the sujood position. Recite three times. You have completed one rak'ah. Say Allahu Akbar and stand up. Perform the second rak'ah in the same way. Repeat points five to Ten. In the second rak'ah, after the second sujood, sit on your left foot and have the right foot upright with the toes facing the qibla. Make your back straight. Put your hands on your knees and recite tashahud. Finish the prayer with taslim. Turn your head to the right. And say Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Turn your head to the left and say Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. How to perform salah three rakahs. Safhi tamanin. Stand up and perform one more rakah. Repeat points five to ten. Read Surat Fatiha only. You should not read any other surahs. In the third rak'ah, after the second sujood, sit on your left foot and have the right foot upright with the toes facing the qibla. Make your back straight, put your hands on your knees and recite tashahud. How to perform salah for rak'ahs. Safhit Sabautamanin. Stand up and perform two more rakas. Repeat points five to ten twice. Read Surat Fatiha only. You should not read any other surahs. Safhit Tamaniotamanin. In the fourth raka, after the second sujood, sit on your left foot and have the right foot. Upright, with the toes facing the qibla. Make your back straight. 
Put your hands on your knees and recite Tashahud. Year of the Elephant انطق الاول الكلمات الصعبة بعد كده اقول القصة بالكامل Honored Honored Jealous Jealous Church Church Gathered Gathered Soldiers Soldiers Belonged Belonged Worrying Worrying Prayed Prayed Close and beaks Closing beaks Closing beaks Dropped Dropped Stopped Stopped Prayer Prayer Year of the Elephant The Holy Kaaba is in Mecca in Arabia. Mecca is a very special place. The Kaaba was built by prophets Ibrahim and Ismail long time ago. The Kaaba was the first house of worship built on earth. People in Arabia honored the Kaaba and visited Mecca very often. Ibraha, who ruled over Yemen at that time, was very jealous that the people loved the Kaaba and Mecca so much. People did not come to visit his own country, Yemen. He decided to build a big church in Yemen for everybody to visit. Ibraha wanted the people to love his church as they love the Kaaba. Or even more, he even asked people to stop visiting the Kaaba and come to his church instead. The Arabs did not listen and kept on visiting the Kaaba. This made Abraha very upset. He decided to destroy the Kaaba. Abraha gathered a huge army and went to Mecca. He also took some huge elephants to help him destroy the Kaaba. He stopped just outside of Mecca and sent some of his soldiers to see what was around. On their way, they took the camels and the animals of the people of Mecca. This would make it hard for the people of Mecca to fight Abraha. Many of the camels belong to Abdul Muttalib, the leader of Mecca. Abdul Muttalib went with some of his sons to see Abraha. Abraha thought that Abdul Muttalib was going to ask him not to destroy the Kaaba. Instead, he asked Abraha to return his camels. Abraha asked Abdul Muttalib why he was worrying about his camels and not about the Kaaba. Abdul Muttalib told Abraha, I am the owner of the camels so I protect them while the Kaaba has a Lord who will protect it. Abdul Muttalib meant that Allah would look after the Kaaba. Abraha did not believe this and he shook his head and said no one can stop me from destroying the Kaaba. Abdul Muttalib had faith that Allah would protect the Kaaba. He ordered the people to leave Mecca and go to the hills for safety. He then prayed to Allah to protect them and the Kaaba from any harm. The next morning, Abraha went to the Kaaba. He wanted to attack it with all of his elephants. So he ordered the elephants to destroy the Kaaba. But whenever they were told to go to the Kaaba, they would run away from it. The elephants refused to destroy the Kaaba because they were obeying the commands of Allah. Suddenly, birds appeared in the sky. The birds were holding stones in their closing beaks. Each bird dropped the stones onto Abraha and his army. Abraha and his army were all destroyed. Allah stopped Abraha from destroying the Kaaba. 
Abdul Muttalib trusted Allah and his prayer was answered. This year is very important in history. It is called the year of the elephant. There is a surah in the Quran speaking about this incident. It is called Surat Al-Fil. Al-Fil means the elephant in Arabic. This year is important for Muslims. Prophet Muhammad was born in that year.